Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this Mac Tax. In our last video, we have discussed how to set up item discounts, discount granted, starting case entries, profit and margin, and invoice list report. In this video, we are going to discuss how to set up promotion and happy hours with buy two and get one free. So let's get started. As usual, we'll go to the main menu and management. Okay, once you click the management, we'll be getting to this dashboard. And here I'm going to click on the promotions and actions. Once you click this promotions and actions, you will be getting to this window. Here you can see uh, some of the promotions or happy hour which were created earlier by myself. Okay, so we will discuss this later. And now I'm going to click on the add promotion button. Okay, once you click the add promotion button you will be getting to this window so here you can see promotion name so here you can see the name field this name field is record field you have to give a name the name can be any text so you can make difference between the number of uh, promotions or happy hour so i'm going to give uh, happy new year okay happy new year that's fine then here we have active button so here we can enable and disable the promotions or happy hour so here you have to remember only active promotions or happy hour will run okay so that's a next comma so the next uh, thing we have to discuss uh, start date and end date here you can set uh, the start date and end date and here i'm going to give the start date uh, first of uh, january and end date uh, 31st of january Okay, and you can set the time as well. I'm going to set the time 8 uh, 30. Okay, I'm going to type the number 30. You can get easily here. And uh, end date uh, 11 30 pm. Okay, 30 enter. Okay, so here this particular promotion is going to be run from this date and time to this date and time. Okay, that's quite easy. And the next uh, control is days of week okay so here you will be able to control on which days your promotion is going to be run okay so here you can control on which days your promotions will run so by default here we have uh, all days it means from this start date to end date all of the days will be applicable to promotions or you can set some other days for example if we want to set on weekends you can set saturday and sunday this means in between the start date and end date first of january to 31st of january only weekends this saturday and sunday will be applicable to uh, promotions or happy hour okay in saturday and sunday between this start date uh, time and end date and time okay so now we can understand that part okay so the next part here you have to select the products here you have to select the products you can select the products from this product tree okay you can select the products or product groups from this product tree and you can uh, search the product by using three ways the first one is barcode the next one is product code the last one is product name you can search the product or product uh, groups using this uh, ways okay so i would like to search the product using product code so i can remember the product number so i can easily type it okay here i'm going to give the number 1076 and here i can get the products and i can double click on it so here we can get the product into the promotions or happy hour so here you can see the product name and here you can see uh, two fields the first one is uh, here you can select either the discount or fixed price okay you can set the promotion or happy hour on percentage okay discount percentage or you can set the fixed price okay so here i would like to give the percentage so we will make it as uh, 50 uh, percentage 50 percentage discount Okay, so if we give like this, in this particular start date and end date, this particular item will be given at 
the 50 percent discount okay that's uh, the things we have to discuss here we have to understand here quantity condition is if you enable quantity conditions you will be able to choose promotion that depends on quantity okay these promotions will be triggered automatically after required quantity or the certain number of quantity is reached okay so the quantity promotions can be applied in two different ways if you check this quantity conditions uh, you can see two different uh, ways of setting this quantity condition okay so here the first one is apply to all okay so here you have to set the quantity so i'm going to give uh, the quantity uh, two okay i'm going to give the quantity two apply to all apply to all means once required quantity is reached new item will trigger promotions which will be automatically applied to this item okay and all previously added items okay so that's a uh, uh, meaning for apply to all if we choose apply to all quantity promotion this means that promotions will be applied on all items in a sale okay after the required quantity number two is reached okay for example uh, once the customer buys three piece of uh, this particular uh, item the discount of 50 percent will be applied to all three items Okay. Once the customer or buyer buys uh, three items in this particular products, the discount of 50%, okay, discount of 50% will be applied to all three items. Okay. So that is uh, applied to all conditions. So here the target uh, quantity condition is number two. Okay. Number two. Okay. That's fine. Now we'll select the one more product okay 1073 okay send 1073 i'm going to double click here okay so here we have another products here you can uh, see the detail here okay here you can see the next product and here we have a discount here also we are going to give 50 percentage okay 50 percentage and here i'm going to give uh, number two the same number two and but here we are going to apply apply to next way okay apply to next in the quantity conditions this means if you decide to choose apply to next rule okay uh, that promotions will be applied to the next number of items only okay after the required or certain number of uh, quantity is reached Okay, so here you can uh, set something like uh, buy two and get one free. Okay, buy two and get one free. Okay, so here uh, we have given uh, number two. Okay, number two and the condition is apply to next. Apply to next. So here I'm going to type uh, one. Okay, I'm going to type one. And I'm going to set the percentage 100. Okay, I'm going to set the percentage 100 so here the uh, condition quantity is 2 the next quantity is 1 this means promotions of 100 persons will be applied to third item okay third item of this particular product okay so this is how a buy to get one free promotions would like okay so here you can see uh, here the customer has to buy two items to get one free okay so the free will be uh, apply to the third item okay and he or she will have to pay for first two item and the third item is completely free why 100% free so this is how you can set uh, buy to get one free uh, promotion okay so that's uh, another thing okay so i'm going to add uh, one more item uh, 1071 okay 1071 so here we we are not giving to uh, quantity condition Okay, so here I'm going to give just a uh, fixed price. Okay, fixed price. Let's say uh, 50,000. Okay, this is fixed price. Okay, and we will add one more item. Uh, 1140. Okay, 1140. Okay, so here I'm going to set the discount. Uh, 15 percentage. Okay, 15 percentage. Okay, and like that we can set up 
the promotion so happy hour okay you can set for a discount or a fixed price okay fixed price and you can set the quantity discounts as well okay once you complete uh, all of the works here you can click on save button so we will click save button here okay promotion successfully saved okay so here you can see happy new year so days of week saturday and sunday it is enabled and start date you can see here start time end date and end time okay further if you like to edit something uh, the promotions uh, time or date or products you can select the promotions or happy hour here then here you have to select edit then you can get the usual uh, window you can change the name or you can set the date or time or product or you can remove it for example if you don't like to give this one you can click this delete one and you can click save okay promotion successfully save okay if you don't like any uh, promotions you can uh, click on this uh, item and you can click on delete and delete promotion are you sure you want to delete promotion we can enjoy so we click yes so it is deleted okay we'll check uh, whether the promotion works or not so i gave a uh, promotions and discounts on uh, certain products and uh, we gave uh, and for the 1073 products we gave uh, buy two get one free so let's check whether it's working or not so i'm going to type 1073 so here you can see the products so that we have given buy two and get one free so again we will type uh, 1073 enter so here you can check the price okay for two okay price for two and 1073 okay here you can see there's no uh, payment for that Okay, there is no uh, charge for that, so amount is zero. So this is how the buy uh, two and get one free works. Okay, that's fine. Now we can go for the payment, and here you can see the total amount is uh, two eighteen three double two, but the customer has to pay only one hundred forty five thousand five forty eight. Okay, so let's assume he is paying one hundred fifty thousand. Okay. That's fine, and we'll make it as a payment as case. Okay, then hit the enter key. We can print the invoice as well. We can click print invoice, and you can give the printing order to your printer, or else you can keep the document as PDF file, as soft copy. You can uh, convert as Microsoft uh, print to PDF. Then you can click print button here. Then you can select the destinations where you want to save. Then you can give a file name. Okay, so here I'm going to give by to get one free okay that's fine now we'll click save okay done okay you can click here it's fine now we'll go and check the file buy to get one free then there you can see the okay. there i can see that Okay. So this is quantity two, and discount hundred percent given. Okay, and that's quite interesting. Okay, so that's all I want to discuss in this video. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you love this video, hit thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell. Then you will be get notified to my brand new videos. Thank you very much, guys. We'll meet in the next video. Goodbye for now.